Welcome to Malware Analysis for Hedgehogs. Now, today's sample is not really challenging and it's not difficult to analyze, but it's quite fun. And I just want to share it with you so you can have some fun too. Um, okay, we will jump in right away and run it whilst looking at it with Process Explorer. Where is it? There it is. I agree. Okay. And all right, we rename the file and append.exe extension so we can run it. A oh, nice icon. <laughs> and let's just run it. Oh, there's our process, and it opens up a small window with the title in fact. And the content label one that's interesting and there's an exception the program crashes so so far it's no fun at all and the reason is the remote, na remote name could not be resolved so uh, because i have no internet connection if you have an internet connection for your analysis machine it will still not work because the uh, remote host is not online anymore and well what are we gonna do if you look at this sample with the NSY, and that's what I did first, uh, I found some quite some interesting images in it, which I well, I thought, well, I want to get this to run so I can make some screenshots. Uh, how are we going to do that? There's a nice tool called Fiddler, and Fiddler is uh, actually it's meant for web developers, so they can debug their web applications but it's also quite useful for malware analysis. Um, for instance, if we run the sample, okay, quit it again. We run the sample, we will get here a protocol with, or a log, a log file with um, requests that our sample made. And these are all the same requests with this host and it requests a site.html. So it's a get request. You can check them de some details here in the inspector tab and um, change the format of that request, like text or raw or hex or whatever. And here's another very interesting feature of this. That's the autoresponder. So we will just make Fiddler respond to that request by enabling the rule. And we drag this right in here. So we basically copy the request in here. And we say we want our own custom request. So let's just start with providing a fiddlergif.dat. Save that. So now you see it's saved here. That's our response and it's enabled. So this should be green. We will remove the things that we already captured and then run it again. Now this time it doesn't crash, so that's good, but nothing else happens. It's still not found, right? Okay, kill the process, remove that. So we need, um, you need to make, make the right response, response for the sample so something um, funny happens. and. For that, you have to analyze it. Now let's just take a short look into it. I won't go too much into detail, but um, just I will just show you the location of the code, where you find the stuff you need. It's not obfuscated. It's not packed. It's it's really quite easy and. Um, you already see that it's not pretty serious. It's not serious at all. Um, just based on the strings that you find here already, the types. Um, there's form one, and it kills task manager. That's interesting. And here is this timer one tick method. Um, there you find a lot of compare string commands, and the strings that 
are in here. Zero. Werbung. Werbung is German for advertisement. Um, the strings that are in here are the commands for this backdoor. So every command will make the backdoor do certain or certain thing. And this looks quite interesting. So one of the commands is music. Let's just try this. That looks like something nice and we might want to see that. So we just say create new response and uh, click on save. And now you can enter your response, that which is music. Okay. And now save that. Okay. And then run the farm. And that's what happens. Lots of lots of windows. Okay, we would just kill the process. Crying baby. System 32 not found. Okay. And um, yeah, the other commands are also interesting. So you might just want to try them out a bit. Uh, I will show you another one. And that's uh, Kaufen. Kaufen means buy something, to buy something. Um, create our response again and say Kaufen save. And then run the sample. And that's what happens. It's basically a screen locker here. And it says Kain XPII cleaner and uh, then some German stuff like uh, best protection, no errors, best performance, system modding, life console, and uh, it lives very long. So uh, your, your PC will live very long. And here you can buy it. Okay, let's click on that. Okay, the payment options. <laughs> and well, obviously it was meant um, to, to use that way that it uh, messes up your, your computer with error messages and crying babies. And um, so uh, then this cleaner will show up as a mean of, and say it will rescue you from these errors on your system. So, and you have to buy it. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, I cannot close this anymore. It's a screen logger. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see you next time. Please try out the sample. It's worth it. It's fun. See you next time.